today is a tutorial day and I've got to thank my wife for requesting gazpacho 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 now you're probably wondering what's this gazpacho well guys it's a chilled tomato soup and from a restaurant point of view on my menus it's usually a starter and it's originated from spain ideal for the hot weather now we've still got hot weather so let's enjoy it while we can she absolutely loves tomatoes and i thought you know what two birds one stone keep the wife happy and then share with you guys my fantastic gazpacho recipe so let's get cooking yeah we all right guys this is everything you need to make the most delicious gazpacho yeah we you've got some cherry tomatoes two garlic cloves peppers Tomatoes, tomato juice, extra virgin olive oil, capsa vinegar, red onion, cucumber, salt, sugar, sourdough bread, and some freshly picked basil. Alrighty guys, here we go. So we've got the red tomatoes chopped. Then we have the cherry tomatoes cut in half. Red peppers de-seeded and chopped. Red onions, cucumbers roughly chopped. Basil picked. And then you have the sourdough. Garlic cloves, just chopped roughly. Extra virgin olive oil. And the vinegar goes in. Salt and sugar. Now, guys, you get your gloves on and you mixy, mixy. You want to incorporate everything together. And you'll start to see when it's ready, when everything just starts. Look, look at the bread. Look at the sourdough just absorbing all that moisture. Then you're going to get your cling film, put it on top. And you leave it to infuse overnight in the fridge. Yowie! The next day. Alrighty, guys, you wanna blend it till it's extra smooth, yowie! <laughs> Alright, guys, now you pass it through a shinwa. You don't want any bits in your gazpacho, yowie! And you don't want wasted, so push all of that flavor through. As you can see there, yowie, guys. Now you add your tomato juice, whiskey, whiskey. And guess what? It's all bottled up and ready to go, yowie. And for the garnish, I use the trim of the sourdough to make some fantastic croutons. 10 minutes on the timer, 160 in the oven. Salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil, and voila. You've got some divine Croutons, yeah, we. And it's plating time. As you can see, guys, one red, one yellow, one orange cherry tomato cut in half. Salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil, seven croutons, and then some fragrant basil leaf. And guys, enjoy this part. Make it your own. I love plating dishes, guys. It's absolute joy and pleasure. And this is what brings everything to life. Look at it being poured, the gazpacho, guys. Look at the colours. It's divine. Finish with a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And enjoy. Yowie. Now, guys, it's been made. And now... It's time for the taste! Let's taste it, yowie! Oh, look! Look! Mm. It's fantastic, guys, because you're, you're getting the acidity from the vinegar. The tomatoes runs through perfectly. The basil, you've got the, the, the basil hit in there! The richness of the olive oil! And then you've got the texture from the croutons. It's fantastic. It all just comes together. Mm. Guys, you know what? I was going to say, if you love tomatoes, make this gazpacho. Scrap that. Just make this gazpacho. You're going to love it. If you hate tomatoes, make it. Because you'll love tomatoes, yeah, we. It's absolutely delicious. It's singing! It's harmonizing! It's all... It's all coming together! Honestly, I could eat bowls and bowls of this gazpacho! Mm. Guys! Recipe below! Method below! It's easy! Make it, yo! The blender does all the work! 
And also, all it is is that you leave it to marinate overnight. That's the longest part. But if you're organized, get everything together. Leave it to marinate. The next day you blend it together. You've got gazpacho. It's as simple as that, yo -wee. Go make it. Let me know how it goes, yo -wee. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Guys, thank you for watching today's video. And let me know how it goes. Let me know how it... How much of it, it celebrates the tomato with all these other ingredients with it, which, which just kind of uplifts the tomato even further. It's fantastic. And we're in tomato season as well. Heritage tomatoes are coming in. It's a, it's a very joyful time right now. Very joyful season for food anyway. Forget Corona. Forget that. This will definitely brighten up your day, guys. So go and get the ingredients and make a spancho, ya wee. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell. Don't miss out on, on all these secrets and, and recipes that I'm giving you. Because genuinely, guys, I'm showing you everything. And you've got all the tools and the methods to do it, yowie. Three, two, one. Yowie!